Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2025 Land Rover Defender 110 V8. As with all of my reviews, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. Keep an eye out because I'm also going to be doing a separate in-depth exhaust video because this thing sounds amazing. I'll be sure to get some sound clips in this video as well. As always, there's a whole lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. The Land Rover Defender lineup continues to expand for 2025 by offering a mix of advancements, tradition, and more model variety than ever before. Three body styles are available including the 3-door Defender 90, the 5-door Defender 110, and the extended length Defender 130. The 110 in particular is available in six models with base pricing ranging between $60,800 and $167,800. When it was first launched several years back, the Defender V8 was the ultimate expression of the Land Rover brand's toughest 4x4 and recalls the rich heritage of eight-cylinder Land Rover vehicles dating back to the 1970s. The potent supercharged V8 engine is available in all three body styles and delivers elevated performance and driver engagement. With unique suspension and transmission tuning, including bespoke spring and damper rates and an all-new electronic active rear differential, it delivers more agile and engaging handling with heightened body control for uncompromised capability. For 2025, the 110 V8 starts at $113,500 and is actually one of the last JLR products to feature the iconic AJ133 V8, which is being phased out in favor of a BMW sourced 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 that features 48 volt mild hybrid technology. The BMW power plant is now being offered in the new Defender Octa model, which starts at $152,000. Not only is the Octa touted as the most capable Defender to date, but with 626 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque on tap, it's also the most powerful. The more traditional Defender V8 provides the opportunity to explore just about any terrain in superior comfort with a purposeful and spacious interior that's designed to accommodate everything adventurers can throw at it, combined with impressive power and performance. It can seat five people and offers generous cargo space. This example in particular is equipped with several optional extras, including in-vehicle Wi-Fi, 22-inch gloss black wheels, the extended black exterior pack, an integrated air compressor, and a body color spare wheel cover. The total MSRP for what you see here, including destination, is $117,695. Exterior changes are subtle and boil down to standard 20-inch wheels, V8 badging on the lower portions of the front doors, and a unique quad-tipped exhaust system. The extended black pack adds gloss black front and rear skid pans, a gloss black grille bar, hood and tailgate lettering, and gloss black hood checker finishers. The 110 V8 is only offered in three exterior colors. Shown here is Santorini black, which is the only no-cost metallic option. A black roof is standard and provides added contrast for the two other body colors, Fiji White and Carpathian Gray. The latter is an extra cost metallic option. For a unique look and superior scratch resistant while off the beaten track, Land Rover offers full vehicle satin protective film. 
For the 110, it's a $5,155 option. The only accessory pack available on this particular model is the Country Black Pack, which includes front and rear classic mud flaps, a full height cargo space partition, a portable rinse system, and a checker rear scuff plate. With the available tow hitch receiver, you get both 4 and 7 pan electrical connectors for convenient hookup and a towing capacity of up to 7,716 pounds. An advanced tow assist system allows you to back up with a trailer while the vehicle itself takes care of the counter steering on your behalf, helping keep whatever you're towing straight. A trailer setup system can be found within the infotainment system. You can customize settings for the specific trailer you're using and the Defender will adjust itself accordingly. Beginning with the trailer type, you select how many axles it has and give some basic dimensions then connect the trailer and go from there. The Defender 110 V8 has a curb weight of 5,735 pounds and a maximum payload of 1,385 pounds. The maximum static roof load is 661 pounds. Unlike other Defender models, Land Rover states that the Defender V8 has no dynamic roof loading capacity. The 110 V8 comes standard with a set of 5 spoke satin dark grey 20 by 8.5 inch wheels, wrapped in 255-60 Goodyear all-terrain tires. All season tires are available at no cost. As in classic Defender fashion, a full size spare wheel is mounted on the swing gate. For a cleaner look, you can opt for a body color cover for the spare wheel. Land Rover also offers a 22 by 9 inch version of the standard 5 spoke wheels, either in satin dark grey or gloss black as shown here, but they're only available with all season tires. The Defender V8's braking system gets an upgrade over other Defenders for increased stopping power. While most Defenders use 14.3 inch front discs, the V8 uses 15 inch front discs by Brembo. The rear discs span 13.8 inches. They're clamped down by six piston and single piston calipers respectively and all four discs are internally ventilated. Four wheel, four channel, four sensor ABS with electronic brake force distribution is standard along with emergency brake assist, brake hold and an electronic parking brake. It's a brake by wire system that offers ample feedback and is easy to modulate. It's a highly effective setup that brings this nearly 3 ton behemoth to a stop from 60 miles an hour in about 120 feet. Quite impressive. The 110 is fitted with an electronic air suspension with adaptive dynamics and Land Rover's advanced terrain response system for unrivaled all-terrain capability and driver confidence in various environments. This combination is designed for comfortable progress and agile performance across broken surfaces. The design of the suspension incorporates many lightweight aluminum components for less unsprung weight. The short long arm setup in front features double wishbones and twin lower links. The rear setup is an integral link design. Larger diameter solid anti-roll bars are used on the V8 models to help reduce body roll and cornering while the unique electronic active rear differential introduces a yaw controller that allows fine control of cornering behavior. The air suspension features multiple stages so that even at its maximum height there's still plenty of travel and impact absorption left in the suspension. In fact, you have up to 16.9 inches of suspension articulation. When set to off-road height, the suspension gains 2.8 inches of additional lift at the front and 2.9 inches of additional lift at the rear to help clear obstacles and assist when wading through up to 35.4 inches of water. The four corners of the air suspension are also cross-linked. What this means is that when one corner of the suspension is fully compressed, it pushes air to the opposite side therefore pushing the wheel down and back on the ground like a live axle vehicle would to increase traction. It's a fascinating setup. In typical day-to-day -day driving, the 110 has exceptional ride quality that's supple and well controlled overall. It's also very quiet. 
The steering is an electronic power assisted rack and pinion setup that takes 2.7 turns to go from lock to lock. The turning circle measures 42.1 feet. The steering offers a nice tight feel and comes standard with suede wrapping on the V8 models rather than traditional leather. It's power adjustable for tilt and reach and comes heated. Land Rover's terrain response system allows you to fine tune the driving experience to just about any terrain via the central display. This example has the optional Terrain Response 2 system, which expands on the standard system with additional features across 10 selectable modes, including Dynamic, Eco, Comfort, Grass, Gravel, Snow, Mud, Ruts, Sand, Rock, Crawl, Wade, Auto, and Configurable. The latter enables you to customize the behavior of the differentials, powertrain, steering, and traction control to your personal preference. When set to auto, the vehicle automatically selects the most suitable terrain setting for your current driving situation. A separate low traction launch feature can be activated on low grip surfaces such as wet grass, snow, and ice. It provides a very cautious response to the accelerator pedal to maximize traction when pulling away from rest. If equipped with the optional all-terrain progress control system, part of the advanced off-road pack and standard on the V8, you get low-speed cruise control for off-road driving. Operating between 1.1 and 18 miles per hour, it automatically manages power and braking to minimize traction loss and to maintain your set target speed. You can then focus on steering and assessing the terrain ahead, making off-road driving easier and safer. Additional menus within the infotainment system allow you to keep an eye on various vehicle parameters. The terrain response menu shows detailed information about each mode, including what they effectively do and when they're most appropriate to use. The wade sensing menu shows the maximum wading depth for the current ride height. Using sonar sensors, you can view the depth of the water you're fording in relation to the maximum depth you can go while audible signals help remind you of how close you are to the maximum depth so you don't accidentally get yourself in trouble. In the 4x4 information menu, you can view chassis data, graphical depictions of pitch and roll, as well as your current altitude and bearing. The foundations for the Defender's all-terrain capability stem from Land Rover's aluminum-intensive monocoque D7X architecture. The Defender is three times more rigid than a comparable body-on-frame design, which further enhances chassis refinement. The Defender 110 is 197.5 inches long, with the spare wheel included, and it rides on a 119-inch wheelbase. With the door mirrors folded, it's 79.1 inches wide. Overall height is 77.4 inches. The front and rear overhangs measure 33.3 .3 and 58.7 inches respectively. At its standard ride height of 8.5 inches, approach, breakover, and departure angles measure 30.1, 22, and 33.5 degrees respectively. When the suspension is raised to off-road height, which offers 11.5 inches of ground clearance, that improves to 37.5, 27.9, and 40 degrees respectively. Also impressive is the maximum ascent-descent gradient and the maximum side-slope-traverse gradient, which is 45 degrees for both. The Defender 110 is available with four engines including a turbocharged 2.0-liter 4-cylinder, a turbocharged 3.0-liter inline 6-cylinder, a supercharged 5.0-liter V8, and a new twin-turbocharged 4.4-liter V8. The supercharged V8 delivers 518 horsepower between 6,000 and 6,500 RPM, and 461 pound-feet of torque between 2,500 and 5,500 RPM. With all of the extra power on tap, 0 to 60 miles per hour takes about 4.6 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 149 miles per hour. The V8 is built using an aluminum block with aluminum heads and stiffened cross-bolted main bearing caps for increased rigidity and refinement. 
It combines a 9.5 to 1 compression ratio with direct fuel injection, chain-driven double overhead camshafts, 4 valves per cylinder, and dual independent variable cam timing. The Eaton Twin Vortex Supercharger is mounted in the engine's valley. Twin water-cooled intercoolers reduce the temperature of the intake air to optimize power and delivery. The V8 is also matched to a switchable active exhaust system that emits distinctive crackles and pops, with sounds meticulously tuned to suit the distinctive character of this engine. The exhaust also features a quiet start function, which ensures a more subtle, refined startup sound. Electrically actuated bypass valves in the rear muffler remain closed until they automatically open up under load, releasing the signature roar. If desired, quiet start can be overridden by selecting dynamic mode. The standard 8-speed automatic transmission is operated by an electronic shift lever in the center console. If you want to shift the transmission manually, you can do so via the lever or by the paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel. The paddles are actually crafted out of metal, which feel really nice. The operating parameters of the transmission are determined by an adaptive shift strategy that takes into consideration driving style, vehicle systems, and road conditions. It can detect the manner in which the vehicle is being driven by monitoring acceleration and braking, cornering forces, throttle and brake pedal activity, road load, kick down request, and even whether the vehicle is being driven up or downhill. On detecting a more spirited driving style, the transmission will automatically make the shifts more aggressive and move the shift points higher. Selecting dynamic mode through the terrain management system unleashes the 110V8's full performance potential. You get increased throttle response, more aggressive shifts, stiffer suspension damping, and torque vectoring from the electronic active rear differential. Altogether, it creates a thrilling driving experience, especially for a nearly 3-ton boxy off-roader. The Defender benefits from a standard full-time four-wheel drive system that blends the best of an all-wheel drive system with the capability of a four-wheel drive system. It features a twin-speed transfer case with low-range functionality that provides an additional gear reduction ratio of 2.93 to 1. In normal use, the four-wheel drive system constantly shuffles torque between the front and rear and side to side to balance performance, efficiency, and traction. The Defender's auto-locking center and rear differentials are capable of acting as both limited slip and locking differentials. It's a quick reacting setup that operates in the background as you drive. In other words, you don't have to manually engage the lockers. Locking and unlocking happens automatically as you drive in response to the terrain you're traversing. The front differential uses a brake-based torque vectoring system that automatically grabs the brake of a spinning wheel to force power to the wheel with traction. As far as fuel economy, the Defender 110 V8 is rated between 14 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on the highway. The use of premium fuel is recommended. During my week of driving, I averaged around 16 miles per gallon, which I thought was reasonable for a vehicle of this size, the performance it offers, and the fact that it's more or less shaped like a brick. The total fuel tank capacity is 23.8 gallons.
Defender's interior is an awesome mix of luxury and functionality to complement its overall rugged demeanor. The interior design is marked out by exposed structural elements and a skeleton-like dashboard design, giving it a feeling of lightness. It's a minimalist design with sparse controls and an overall very clean layout despite its high levels of tech, while exposed bolts and body-colored bits give it an old-school vibe. Land Rover engineers have created an impressive amount of overall space by effectively shrink-wrapping interior packaging components around the body in white. The build quality feels exceptional. Not only is this one of the most solid feeling vehicles I've driven in quite a while, it's surprisingly quiet and refined for something off-road focused. For easier entry and exit, Land Rover offers a variety of running board options if that's something you're interested in. Otherwise, the air suspension can be easily lowered to an entry-exit position that can assist you. The 110 V8 is offered with your choice of luxurious Windsor leather or durable synthetic ultra fabric. The leather is available in ebony or two-tone ebony and caraway. High quality, hard-wearing synthetic materials are used on a variety of surfaces for additional protection and lasting durability. The interior trim finishes are powder coated for even more durability, including the signature cross vehicle beam that spans the dash. At the beginning and end of every activity, practical touches protect the interior. You can tell storage space was a prime focus too. The flooring is rubber with a removable carpet and mats for easy cleaning. The floating center console includes two cup holders with the optional comfort and convenience pack in addition to a console refrigerator compartment. The open design has plenty of space underneath. There's USB-A and C ports next to a 12 volt power outlet. To the right of the infotainment system you'll find another USB-C outlet. There's large lower door pockets and a large locking glove box. The width of the dashboard is completely open with the exception of the area behind the instrument cluster, allowing for additional flat surfaces to set things. The outer edges of the dashboard serve as grab handles. With the optional cold climate pack, you get a heated windshield, heated washer jets, and a heated power wash system. The front seats offer 12-way adjustments and two-way manual headrests in their standard configuration. They're heated and cooled too. The heated steering wheel is power adjustable for tilt and reach. This example has the upgraded 14-way front seats with 4-way headrests and adjustable side bolsters. With the leather upholstery, you also get a leather gear shift lever as well as leather door upper top rails, fascia hoop, and lower console rails. To the right of the gear shift lever, there's a bank of controls, some of which I've already covered. The two dials in particular have several functions. By simply twisting them left to right, you can adjust the temperature. If you press the dials inward and then twist them left to right, you can adjust the heated and cooled functions of the front seats. The two buttons in between the dials allow you to adjust either fan speed via the right dial or switch between the terrain modes via the left dial. It takes a little time to get used to, but it's a clean design that enhances the minimalist feel of the interior while packing a lot of functionality. An advanced cabin air filtration system offers several additional functions, in addition to monitoring air quality to reduce allergens, fine particulates, harmful gases, odors, and more. The modes include Purify, CO2 Management, and Ion, each of which have specific functions to improve air quality within the vehicle. You can control all of the HVAC settings from the infotainment system, including the rear settings. The Defender's standard tech effortlessly enhances convenience, efficiency, and refinement of the interior. The 110 comes standard with a premium Meridian sound system that offers crystal clear highs and full deep bass. It features 10 speakers, a dual channel subwoofer, and a 400 watt amplifier with digital signal processing. The V8 includes the available 700 watt 14 speaker system. The PIVI Pro infotainment system has a large 11.4 inch display that embodies the architectural lightness of the interior. 
It provides intuitive control of all of the major vehicle functions using the latest consumer technology to deliver a smartphone-inspired interface. This next-generation touchscreen is intuitive and user-friendly, requiring fewer inputs to perform frequently used tasks, while its always-on design guarantees almost instant responses. Software over-the-air technology allows remote updating for 14 different modules, so the system can constantly evolve, improve, and remain up-to-date. The touchscreen also provides haptic feedback. Standard Amazon Alexa integration uses intuitive, natural voice commands that go one step beyond touchscreen or button interfaces by helping reduce cognitive load and providing a sense of effortless modern luxury. In this way, Alexa capabilities allow you to manage your favorite infotainment features and music track selection to navigation and phone contacts, news and weather, and more. The system can even turn on your lights at home and connect to other Alexa-enabled devices. All of this works in addition to wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto and can be initiated by either saying Alexa or pressing the Alexa button on the touchscreen. It does not need a phone or external device to operate, only the details of your Amazon account and an internet connection. Wi-Fi enabling is an additional option. Standard wireless device charging lets you charge compatible smartphones without the need for wires or a charging dock. While in the vehicle, your smartphone will also use the Defender's antenna for improved signal and clearer calls. Other media options include Bluetooth streaming, AM FM radio, Sirius XM satellite radio, and online streaming. Pivi Pro includes a built-in navigation system as standard equipment. With the configurable cabin lighting system, you can switch between 10 available colors to highlight the Defender's design features and match your mood, personality, or driving style. Some other neat menus within the infotainment system include driving style, energy impact, eco tips, driving history, which together help you maximize fuel economy. If you go for the optional activity key, convenience goes up a notch. You get a waterproof and shockproof module that you can wear on your wrist. It can unlock, lock, and start the vehicle just like a conventional key fob. The Defender is packed with a plethora of safety features, including a suite of standard driver assist technology, such as emergency braking, blind spot assist, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, driver condition monitoring, lane keep assist, front and rear parking sensors, rear traffic monitoring, traffic sign recognition with adaptive speed limiting, automatic high beams, and rain sensing windshield wipers. The standard surround view camera system provides a 3D, 360 degree view around the vehicle. Three menus, on-road, off-road, and towing have specific angles and information to help you in different scenarios. The clear sight ground view within the off-road menu simulates a see-through hood to provide you with an unobstructed view of the front and underside of the vehicle. This allows you to monitor the conditions below the vehicle and clearly view obstacles or obstructions. The rear view camera mirror provides an unobstructed view of the road behind you regardless of rear seat passengers or objects in the cargo area. Additional safety features include dual front airbags, front seat mounted side airbags, side curtain airbags to the front and rear seats, power operated child door locks, and rear seat latch child seat anchors hill descent control, hill launch assist, dynamic stability control, electronic traction control, roll stability control, cornering brake control, and low traction launch all work together to enhance the Defender's capabilities regardless of the terrain. The available head-up display provides key vehicle data including speed, gear position, and navigation directions on the windshield. It features full-color, high-resolution graphics, enabling you to see all information with ease, including off-road driving information such as incline and camber angles. The 110's standard-fit panoramic glass sunroof, which is complemented by skylights on either side of the ceiling and the rear, makes the interior feel very open. 
Rearward visibility is pretty good overall with the Defender's large windows, but the headrests are pretty large, so if you have any issue, they can be folded down when not in use. Of course, you also have that rear view camera mirror to help out when loaded down with passengers or cargo. Second row passengers are treated to a standard three zone climate control system. The controls can be found at the rear of the center console where you can adjust temperature, zone, fan speed, or set everything to automatic. Rear passengers also benefit from a small stadium rise for superior forward visibility. The rear seat is able to fold in order to provide wide access points on either side for loading and accessing cargo. Step treads integrated into the side sills help make roof access easier too. Certain defenders that are equipped with a third row seat have a second row that offers manual slide and recline for extra comfort and accommodation. The 110's rear seat is fixed in both position and incline. You still have three adjustable headrests, a fold down armrest with two cup holders, and a convenient 60-40 split design. Additional flexibility comes from the ability to treat the seat as a 40-20-40 split design so that you can fold down just the middle portion independently for convenient loading of longer items. The seat is available heated or heated and cooled for extra comfort and temperature extremes. Maximum second row legroom and headroom measure 38.4 and 40.6 inches respectively. It's quite a comfortable seat with soft padding and good lower back support. Additional second row amenities include overhead grab handles and coat hooks, overhead LED lighting, B-pillar mounted grab handles, seat back storage nets, rear center console air vents, USB type C charge ports at the base of the center console and bottle holders in the lower door panels. Isofix child seat attachments can be found on the outboard seats. The Defender 110 provides a spacious and practical load area with a convenient swing gate for access. Behind the second row, there's 34 cubic feet of space. A standard cargo area cover straps in via hooks on the left and right side panels and clips in at the rearmost corners. Black checker scuff plates line the rear seat backs and the cargo floor, providing durable load surfaces without having to worry about dirtying carpet. Underneath the cargo floor is where you'll find all of the tire changing equipment. While not equipped on this example, a rubber cargo mat is optional for additional protection. It includes a flap that you can pull out and drape over the rear bumper for additional protection when loading and unloading cargo. Lane Rover also offers a cargo partition net that helps protect passengers from stored items. On the right side panel beneath the fuse box, there's a domestic plug socket for powering small electronics and appliances. A 12 volt power outlet can be found on the lower left side panel. The convenient split design of the second row seat allows you to fold the seat backs down several different ways depending on who or what you're hauling. With the second row seats folded down completely, you have a maximum of 78.8 cubic feet of space. The flat cargo floor has 36.2 inches of legroom behind the second row seat and easily accommodates everything from wetsuits and kit bags to camping and climbing gear. A really nice feature back here is the ability to independently raise or lower the air suspension. Not only can this help with hooking up a trailer, but can also help with loading and unloading cargo. The swing gate has a similar design motif as the door panels, where you have a combination of body color surfaces and a center section with exposed bolt heads. It too has a wide storage pocket. An air vent is mounted in the left C pillar, and you have the ability to independently control fan speed in the cargo area, which is also pretty cool if you're out camping and have a sleeping setup in the back with the second row folded. The right C pillar has a strap built in for holding a flashlight or some other similarly sized item. The available rear air compressor can be particularly useful when out and about, whether it be for emergency tire filling or filling up recreational equipment. Obviously you don't want any loose cargo bouncing around when you're off road, so Land Rover fitted the Defender with a plethora of tie down hooks across each side panel plus D loops across the floor. All of the white interior LED lighting makes it really easy to see things at night. 
The cargo area also has a set of LED lights for improved lower visibility. Lastly, the swing gate itself has a gas charge strut. Similar to a hood strut, it assists in controlled opening and closing with the large spare tire. All in all, the Defender is incredibly practical for many reasons. It's versatile and spacious, luxurious with durable materials, and widely configurable for all sorts of different lifestyles. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing that too and make sure you turn those notifications on. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.